Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, the Sith program, just close this a little bit. All right, so the Sith program in chapter four is Celsius to Fahrenheit table. So write a program that displays a table of the Celsius temperature zero through 20 and their Fahrenheit equivalent. The, the formula for converting a temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit is this formula here. F is equals to nine over five times C plus, plus 32. Where F is the Fahrenheit temperature and C is the Celsius temperature. Your program must use a loop to, disp to display the table. Okay, so basically we are going to, uh, let's see. Okay, so we are going to use a loop. Okay, start from zero through to tw um, through 20. Um, and we are going to pass, uh, we are going to basically use the numbers zero th uh, through 20 as the Celsius value here. And we are going to display a table of Fahrenheit equivalent of basically the Celsius temperatures we put in here. Now, in this case, it's not the Celsius temperatures are going to be the number 0 through 20 in a loop. Okay, so we're going to loop 20 times and then display this, the Fahrenheit equivalent, right? So let's see. Yeah, and display the, uh, the Fahrenheit equivalent. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So let, let's start the program and it will make sense as we are doing it. So I'm going to, so let's see. Let's, let's see where we're starting. So write a program that displays the table of Celsius, the table of the Celsius temperature, temperature zero through 20 and okay. All right, so it says your program must use a loop to display the table. So we are going to basically display a table of Celsius temperature starting from zero to 20 and use the Celsius temperatures zero to 20 as the Celsius value here and to, to calculate the, it's, um, the Fahrenheit equivalent. So if we start from zero, zero degrees Celsius, what, what's zero degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? And then we are going to calculate the Fahrenheit and display it on its right. So we're going to basically start from zero to 20 and display the Fahrenheit equivalent of zero through 20. All right, so let's go ahead and start a loop. We are going to start a loop loops to, from zero all the way to 20, right? So I'm going to create a for loop. Okay, and I am going to cr create the, the target variable. So for let's see, for Celsius temperature, because we know the we know the the numbers that we are going to loop loop through, starting from zero to twenty, it's going to be the Celsius temperatures, right? So for Celsius, let's ask. So for Celsius temperature in Let's, let's actually use current for current Celsius temperature in range. So current because current Celsius temperature is going to keep track of the current Celsius temperature we are looping at. We're starting from zero all the way to 20. So for current Celsius temperature in range, and now we're going to create a range here. So in range, I'm going to now type, <coughs> let's see, we're going to type in, um, 21 right so we are looping so we are starting from 0 all the way to 20 okay now that we, this is the upper limit it's not included so the the upper limit is not included so yes it's, it's, it's the loop is going to start from 0 basically Celsius temperature is going to start from 0 all the way to 20 all the way to one less than the upper limit the upper limit is basically the last the, the last number the last limit but not included so 0 all the way to 21 minus 1, right? So current Celsius temperature is going to start from 0. The first time this loop iterate, and it's, it's going to be 1 all the way to 20. Okay, not 21. 21 is the upper limit, but it's not included. Okay, so that's where we are starting the loop from. And each time the loop iterate, current Celsius temperature is going to keep track of our Celsius temperature. We are, we are, we are setting the Celsius temperature from, from 0 to 20. Okay, the first time around, it's going to be 0. The second, the second time around, it's going to be 1 all the way to 20. Okay, so each time we want to go ahead and calculate its Fahrenheit um, term. Actually, we, each time we want to go ahead and calcul calculate, its, yeah, calculate its Fahrenheit temperature and then display them, okay, in a loop, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a, a variable called Fahrenheit, um, Fahrenheit equivalent. So we can say Fahrenheit equivalent, Fahrenheit um, 
temperature equivalent. I don't know. That's a te Fahrenheit temperature. You, you can name the names are long, but you can name you can make it short. I just like to sometimes create long names like this. But you can name it short if you want. So the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent is going to be equal to basically the formula here. So I'm going to type in nine divided by five. I'm going to surround them with parentheses just because I want the order the order of operation to take effect. I want to basically evaluate this nine divided by five first. I'm going to multiply by C. Now C is going to be the Celsius, the current sorry, the current Celsius temperature. Okay, initially when the when the loop starts at zero, when the loop I trace again it's one, I trace again it's two, I trace again it's three, and so on all the way to twenty. So we are multiplying by the current Celsius temperature, okay, which is C, and then we are adding 32 to it. So this calculation over here is going to give us <coughs> the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent, oops, equivalent of the current Celsius temperature, okay, we started from zero. This is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Each time it, it, it's going to increment by 1 each time it iterates all the way to 20, 1 less than the 21. And this is going to calculate the Fahrenheit temperature. We want to go ahead. Now we have the Fahrenheit temperature for the current um, Celsius temperature. Now we can we can go ahead and display the current Celsius temperature and the Fahrenheit te te temperature equivalent of that, of that current Celsius temperature. And this is going to basically loop from 0 all the way to 20. So I want to go ahead and display, let's see, I want to print what's stored in current, okay, what's stored in current Celsius temperature. That's the first argument I want to print. I'm going to pass in a tab, a backslash T, as the second argument I want to display, okay. Now a backslash T creates a tab. The two characters together, the backslash and the T, both of them together creates a tab. Okay. When the interpreter sees the backslash T, it creates a tab. So that's the second argument I'm displaying. And the third argument I want to display is the Fahrenheit uh, temperature equivalent. So Fahrenheit temperature equivalent. All right. So. When you print out the arguments like this, when you pass in separate arguments separated by comments, uh, separated by commas, these arguments are printed by default with a space separate in them. So it's going to print the current social temperature with a space and then a tab with a space and then the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent. Um, if you want, you can change the space you can you can um, you can override it with something else, but this is fine. It's going to print out current Celsius temperature with a space, a tab, a space, and a Fahrenheit temperature equivalent. Now this is going to loop basically from zero to twenty. So it's going to calculate. For example, when the loop starts, the current Celsius temperature is going to be zero. So this is going to print zero, and then the Fahrenheit temperature when current current Celsius temperature is zero. And the loop is going to iterate again. Current Celsius temperature is going to go to one or increment to one. This is going to print one, and it's going to print a tab, a, a space, a tab, and a space, and then the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent when the current Celsius temperature is one. And then it's going to end it with a new line. So by default, the print function ends ends with ends with a new line, and then so basically, it's going to print line by line the current Celsius temperature and its and its Fahrenheit equivalent. One thing I want also want to do is I want to go ahead and <coughs> print a header for the, the values. So so for now we can go ahead and display, let's display it and see how it looks like. So I'm going to run this. I need to save it where I normally save. I hope this doesn't crash. Sometimes it, it crashes. Let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't crash. So let me save it where I normally save the Python programs. So I'll create a new folder for Celsius to Fahrenheit table. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I'll save this file as Celsius 
to Fahrenheit table that pi and then let's see what happens okay so now we can see that it started from 0 all the way to 20 and it's printing the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit uh, equivalents okay we have some formatting issues here we'll format it but one thing I want to do is also display a header for this so I want to display such as such as temperature and then the Fahrenheit equivalent header so I'm basically going to create a print function over here that is going to print first of all the a, a string which is going to be um, Celsius temperature and I'm going to pass in another well I want to create a tab now because this is a string I can just go ahead and type in the tab uh, put a tab in this string <coughs> and as soon as the uh, interpreter sees this it's going to create a tab so I don't have to create um, pass in a, a second tab I mean a tab as a separate um, argument because I can put it in a string and then the next thing I want to do is actually I don't even have to create another argument since these these are all strings I, I can display the social temperature with a tab and then the string Fahrenheit equivalent yeah current equivalent and now I'm going to save this and then let's see that what happens see now we can see the header Celsius temperature and Fahrenheit. the only thing is it's yeah separated too much so I can separate the values here by putting a couple of extra tabs or maybe three two more tabs run this again now it's one more tab okay so now we're good okay I can even yeah it's fine it's fine so the Celsius temperature uh, the, the Celsius temperatures are from here 0 to 20 and these are, these are the Fahrenheit equivalents. Now we need to format these values so that we don't have something like this here. Okay, so let's format the values here. So I want to format, the such as temperature is fine, but let's format the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit temperature equivalent. So I'm going to type in the format function. <coughs> and the format function takes two arguments. What you want to format, in this case, I want to format the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent. That's my first argument. The second argument is how you want it formatted. Now I want it formatted because it's it's a float. I want it formatted as a float. So I'm going to type in an F, and I want it formatted to two decimal places. So I'm going to type in 0 0.2 right in front of the F. So 0 0.2 is my precision, meaning I want to round the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent to two decimal places. Okay, 0 0.2, and because it's a float, I want it formatted as a float. So I want it formatted to two decimal places. I want it formatted as a formatted as a float, and this line over here. Is like a guideline for me not to exceed 80 characters on a line I want to try to keep uh, type 80 characters on a line it's a Python standard to do that so I want to stick with that and not type 80 not go beyond 80 characters on a line so I need to break this line too so over here I'm actually you see over here I'm going to break it I'm going to put this um, basically basically I'm going to break it here before you break any line in Python you have to type in the backslash and then hit enter so now I've broken it here. Now when I run, now I haven't exceeded this line. I'm fine. And when I run this, it's basically rounded everything to two decimal places. We can run it to one decimal place if you want. You can change it to point one to one decimal place. Run this again, and you can see everything has rounded to one decimal place. The social, the social temperatures, and then the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit equivalent with the headers. Sorry, the header. Yeah, all the headers. All right, so we're done. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a good sleep. Have a good day. Have a nice time. Have a sound sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, and take care of yourselves. Um, I'll see you next time with the next program. Bye-bye.